Here we go. Hi, I'm Frank Brill, editor of EnviroPolitics, and uh, today we're with two pioneers of recycling in New Jersey. Uh, these two ladies were there from the very beginning of uh, recycling, and that goes back 25 years now because this week, I believe, coming up marks the 25th anniversary of mandatory recycling in New Jersey. Um, we're going to, and uh, I have two of the folks who were instrumental in getting that program off the ground. And that program, if you, you may not know, led to similar recycling laws and programs all over the United States. So New Jersey really was the state that got uh, curbside uh, residential uh, recycling uh, launched in the United States. And we all know where it's gone from there. Uh, on my right is, uh, let me ask this lady to identify herself. Jean? I'm Jean Clark. And Jean, you were, um, you were president of a, a local women's group here in Montclair, New Jersey, where we are today visiting you. Well, I was a member of a group called Montclair Organizations for Conservation, which included a number of churches, women's groups, uh, business such as rotary groups, who formed a committee to start recycling in Montclair. Great. Now we'll come back to you in just a minute, Jean. But to your right and our left uh, is Mary Shiel. Mary, uh, identify yourself. Please. Um, I'm Mary Shiel. Um, I uh, worked for the state of New Jersey for over, uh, for about 25 years. Um, I actually started the recycling program in 1980. Um, while working for the Department of Energy. So it really had its initiation in the Department of Energy. Very good. Uh, Jean, uh, you kind of got this ball rolling, as you said, in Montclair. And um, uh, I understand you, your group uh, set up an initial uh, drop-off point for uh, residents who wanted to recycle their, uh, I guess it was, how did you start off? Was it paper and, uh, and glass? Or? Uh, <clears throat> yes, we decided that we would asked the town if we could use a parking lot on a town parking area on Saturday, a Saturday, to uh, start collecting recyclables. And we initiated this in 1971. Mm. Um, we got some contractor to roll off containers there and he hauled them away and uh, the money we got we began to reinvest in the recycling program until 1975 when we got the town to take it over because we gave them all the revenue. <laughs> That's great. Well that was a nice incentive to get the town rolling and then I guess uh, maybe a few other towns must have followed suit and followed your example uh, before it became uh, state law. Recycling oh, yes, there were many towns that initiated programs mm -hmm. before the state law. Most of them were voluntary groups, but the difference between Montclair and many of the others is that we saved the money that we made and reinvested it in re recycling instead of giving it to the group who provided the volunteers. Okay, that's great. Well, then let's fast forward a little bit to uh, 1980, right? Mm -hmm. And Department of Energy, Mary. Now, I, this, these, I guess these uh, residential programs, these town programs, caught the attention of the state. And well, uh, it actually uh, emanated out of the New Jersey, uh, New Jersey Department of Energy, okay. the state master plan. Oh. Uh, the Department of Energy was formed as a cabinet-level agency in 1977. And um, I had done work, uh, graduate work, on waste management um, when I was in... Um, graduate school at Rutgers University and um, was able to get a job at the new agency and um, the agency was charged with doing a statewide energy master plan and with another colleague uh, uh, Gary Liss uh, we worked on the solid waste portion of that energy master plan because uh, the department had recognized that there were significant energy production value and energy conservation value in uh, recycling and in production of energy. Mm -hmm. um, so with that, we wrote this energy master plan and it caught the attention of the New Jersey Department of Environmental Protection who mm -hmm. was struggling 
with a major landfill crisis uh, in the 80s. Mm -hmm. I think we were down to about 12 landfills at that time. And it was a question that New Jersey had been an importer of waste. We took waste from Philadelphia and from New York City. And um, it was a question, we were, were we going to have any place to put our own waste? So uh, with that, we uh, the two commissioners of the both departments, DEP and DOE, formed the New Jersey Office of Recycling. And I was appointed administrator of that office in 1980. And we worked with business and industry, um, environmental groups, municipal officials, county officials, uh, and various citizens, such as Gene, mm -hmm. um, to develop a plan, a recycling plan for New Jersey. And with that, we, we did that plan, we're able to do that plan in six months, uh, and we made a recommendation to the legislature that they adopt a voluntary statewide recycling program. Mm -hmm. Um, the legislature, they passed that law in record time unanimously. Wow. I don't think we ever see that today. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> there was not one no vote. Wow. And we had a statewide voluntary recycling program. And with that uh, program, we set a goal of recycling 25% of the municipal waste stream, which mm -hmm. was said to be paper metal glass at that time. And um, with that, uh, the legislature in the, in the um, law, the first uh, uh, recycling act, they charged us to come back in October of 84 to give a report on what what the success was, mm -hmm. if there was success. Well, there was success. We had uh, several municipalities. I think by, the, by 1983, we had like 300 and some municipalities that had already gotten into recycling and started curbside.